Tech Drillers, once again, we are moving into a more advanced maneuver. In order to do a double shoulder toss, which is the same toss we've been working on with the right shoulder, but adding an extra rotation on top of it or an extra half rotation on top of it, we need to be very, very comfortable with the idea of the rifle going up, catching it on the sling and bringing it down as in that one and a half. We also need to make sure that we're strong enough to really lift that rifle in the air because now we're actually going to lift very, very high and we're actually going to apply quite a bit of force backwards as we move through this spin. So a double right shoulder toss looks like this. And as you can see, the rifle is completing an extra half rotation from the spins that we just worked on. So let's break that down. The technique is exactly the same. However, in this case, we are lifting above our shoulder, definitively above our shoulder, and we are applying a backwards pull later in the spin than we have on the previous two versions. So if we were to really look at it after our prep, which is the same, not hyperextended, not pulled forward, comfortable, we are lifting up and the technique that I want you to think about is touching just behind your ear, scratching your ear. So when we do this, we're coming up here and that's where our hand is going to wind up going. When we do this, we are going to have to apply a little bit of momentum and a little bit of speed. So the prep is the same as we've been doing. We don't want to hyperextend because I don't want to have to think about breaking that elbow first to pull backwards. Then we lift up. We're going to lift up as high as we possibly can. This is going to definitely clear the shoulder as we're lifting up. From here and only here, we're gonna pull back and apply backwards force with a little bit more snap and a little bit more momentum than we had before. So the toss itself is going to allow the rifle to be caught, balance point of the rifle, just above the shoulder at about a 45 degree angle. And that's when we need to get comfortable there's two things that are going to happen or that could very well happen. The first is this. We're at the shoulder. We prep the rifle. And because we're throwing the rifle in the air, did you see how I pulled my hand outboard and the rifle went over to my right side? This is where the strength comes in. A lot of the times we're going to use sideways momentum to compensate for lifting momentum. And when we do that, we're going to bring the rifle out to a position that's going to be very hard to control and very hard to catch. So what we need to work on in that instance is bringing the rifle up and again keeping the hand by the head. And that's when I think about scratching my ear or touching right behind my ear. That motion is going to keep the rifle over my shoulder and not drifting outside. Another thing that could happen just as in the previous versions if we have a twist and the rifle corkscrews in mid-air that's using our wrist to push backwards with the palm of my hand backwards in an effort to get that extra little bit of oomph out. We really need to make sure that we are keeping our finger pulled back. Now here is a little bit of a trick for you. In the single and the one and a half versions, we allowed the single finger to stay on the front. But when we go to a double, if you're struggling a little bit with the idea of getting the spin on the rifle and we're not quite getting it all the way to that catch position, we can go ahead and slide that extra finger down in front of the rifle so that now my grip has two on the front and two on the bottom. So when I go to the toss, I have twice the stabilizing power because now I have a little bit more of my hand on the front of that rifle. So if you're struggling doing it with just one in the normal right shoulder grip, go ahead and try to get the hand changed, the grip switched so that we can get a little bit more stabilization and a little bit more force on the front of that rifle. So the double right shoulder toss from here, I catch and all I'm doing from this position, my left hand's gonna come forward, I'm gonna meet the rifle at the small of the stock and we're gonna go catch, stop. Those are two different motions. So we're actually gonna under rotate that spin a little bit. A lot of folks when they get started they wanna try to throw it all the way until they catch it with both hands. But realistically, this is a one-handed catch followed by a chop. The cadence that we can use, and this is very important if we're gonna have more than one driller doing this, we're gonna think about the cadence being down, out, pin, catch, pull. Once again, 
down, out, pin, catch, pull. And that's gonna allow us to sync up the rifles in their slow arcing position across our team members. And when we use these words, down, out is the toss. Down, out, pin, catch is gonna be a pin and a catch. And we're gonna pull the rifle into its final position. And that is our double right shoulder toss.